when we treat post-traumatic stress disorders, we commit an inordinate number of mistakes. And I'm talking now about clinicians. For example, we force the trauma victim to describe the trauma immediately in the wake of the trauma. This is called debriefing. This is very bad, very bad practice debunked in many, many studies. Another thing we do, we teach the trauma victim to avoid triggers as a permanent behavior. This should never be done. Avoiding triggers is very important in the initial phase of treating trauma to allow us to somehow get the patient acquainted with the trauma and get on with it, move on. But at some point, the patient would need to confront the triggers. This is exposure therapy. At some point, the patient would need to be re-traumatized. Long-term avoidance of, of triggers increases the likelihood that the affected person will develop a disabling level of post-traumatic disorder of one kind or, or another. If you teach the patient to avoid triggers all the time, the trauma deepens. If you expose the patient to the trauma and re-traumatize the patient, the trauma disappears. Identifying and addressing trauma triggers is an important part of PTSD precisely because at some point we need to expose the patient to the triggers. And we don't have to agree with the affected person. We don't have to enter the affected person, the traumatized person's mind. We don't have to say, ah, we understand how you're triggered. No, it's up to the triggered person to tell us which stimuli cause triggering. This is exposure therapy. If you expose the patient to the trauma and re-traumatize the patient, the trauma disappears. This is exposure therapy. Confront the triggers. Which stimuli cause triggering? Confront the triggers. The trauma disappears. This is exposure therapy. The trauma disappears.